Hi everyone, this is my first YouTube video, so I just thought I'd start, I've been reading a bit about um, pick guards on acoustic guitars and how they affect the sound, so I've got a pick guard on my Cole Clark, it's a Fat Lady 2, it's got a bunya top, blackwood back and sides. So I haven't had it outside much, so I've spoke to uh, the the manufacturers and they suggest if we're going to take it off use lemon oil to get the, um, the the gunk off it so I've got some lemon oil some gunk so I'll go through it um, with we'll use um, it's a silica nitrous finish but it hasn't been outside or played a lot near windows for the UV light to really um, change the color top so taking off the pick guard should be um, the color under it should still match the actual colour of the guitar. So um, I'll just play a bit of a, let's say, um, DAG with the pickguard. We'll take it off, then we'll do the same um, chord structure as a comparison, see if we can hear a difference. Um, it makes sense to me because the top soundboard vibrates to make the sound. Um, the bunya is, a, um, is on the denser side of tone woods. So it's nice and strong and sturdy. Um, so taking the pick out off with playing with the pick, um, I'm not too concerned about future marks or anything. Adds the character, I reckon. So um, having a plastic, basically a plate on it, would restrict a bit of that vibration. Um, even though it's thin, it all adds up. So um, let's uh, take it off and see if there's a difference. Okay, so I've just used my pick to get under the thinnest corner. So the thinnest part, easiest to get up under. So I'm just going to gently work that backwards. Uh, let's put it up so you can see. So I'll just gently bring that up. So I can see a bit of, um, a, bit of a lining around the edges. It's actually left a bit of the transfer on which um, I don't mind that actually, it looks uh, a bit cool, you might be able to faintly see the logo and it has got a different tone from that section to that section under this light and that's before we put a lemon oil on it um, to remove that sticky gunk. So I'll just I'm going to start the spraying a bit, bit into a rag. Okay, so I've got the bottle to work. So I'm just going to put my cloth around the sound hole because I'm going to spray it on. Just gently and closely, just don't, don't want it to drip down too much in the sound hole. And I'm just going to massage it in with my fingers to get it in. Onto the um, onto the gunky stuff. Okay, so I've just uh, rubbed it in with my fingers. I've let it sit. When I start to rub it down, um, I probably have to do it a few times. Do a rub, spray some more on, let it sit, spray, spray some more on, just to bring that gunk down. Um, I do know if I rub too much in the wrong spot for too long, too hard, it will shine it up because um, it's sort of a satin, sort of a natural uh, finish. Uh, with the way the Kyle Clarks are, fin are finished, um, they do come shipped now without the sound, uh, without sorry the pick out on. So um, you've got the option to put it on because it's easier to put it on rather than to take it off. Yeah, I just start a bit of a rub down and and work away at it. See this? Okay, so I've gave it a rub. I uh, use a chucks cloth because it's sort of woven pores to help take it off. I didn't press too hard. I didn't try and scrape the gunk off with my nail. Just let the the product and um, and the sponge do its work. Um, 
I did say I wanted to leave that Cole Clark look like a little tattoo still on there, but um, it had the, um, the sticky gunk on top, so I've had to take that off, unfortunately. But um, I go to the whole face, bit of a wipe down, it's still a bit damp, but it's drying out. Um, you don't want to soak it, as I say. Um, they do recommend you use the lemon oil on the fretboard and bridge when you change your strings, but um, as I said, I did speak to them, and they did say the lemon oil to get the uh, the gunk off is fine, provided you don't leave it on too long or, or rub too much. So I'll just go to another rub, so it's going to be a little bit shiny. Um, so that's uh, how it's come out. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that result. So now we'll, let's have a play and um, see if we have an audio difference. Personally, in the room, I think it sounds, um, yeah, louder, a um, bit more dynamic. Um, and a bit solid in that um, in the mid range. Yeah, I just thought, you know, it's like a drummer putting a bit of gaff tape on their skin just to dampen it. Um, I'm thinking of the pick guard with the um, the gunky goo on it to make it stick. Um, would do the same, bit of a dampener on it. So. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.